or no nag record no? A familiar line of nurses eating their young comes into play. Many of us who have not yet graduated or have not yet stepped into the reality of the workplace have been exposed to the mentorship of the assigned staff nurse and instructor. We are the BSN 3B Group 4A. I am Maria Jasmine Ruiz, together with my groupmates, Carlo Miguel Ruiz, David Schmidt, James Thiril Strong, and Leonard Villarus. Join us in our discussion as we unravel the truth about what makes constructive criticism so different from bullying and why is it so important to study it. For the purpose of our, our objectives of study, we have here the response of nursing students to the bullying as they have experienced usually leads to potentially harming the victim's learning in the workplace, influence career choices, create short and long-term mental health issues, and lead to self-harm and suicide. This study aims to describe the lived experiences of bullying among nursing students in the clinical area in order to bring about an in-depth understanding of the experiences of bullying as experienced by the nursing students in the clinical setting. With, it, with our study entitled Lived Experiences of Bullying Among Nursing Students in the Clinical Area, I will now be passing the discussion to Carlo Miguel Ruiz for the methods of our study. So for the methodology, for the research design, phenomenology research design or approach in the embodiment in the work involving a nurse involves a feeling and experiencing in relation to the patient as another experiencing body and is thus concerned with the subjective and his or her lived experience in health and illness. For the participants, the participants of the study include six individuals enrolled in one of the colleges of nursing from Bacolod City under the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program in the third year level. For the research instrument, the instrument will be an interview guide to gather needed data. The draft of the questionnaire was drawn out based on the researchers' readings, previous studies, published and unpublished thesis relevant to the study. For the data gathering procedure, first, we requested a letter to the College of Nursing. Next was the gathering of the participants. Then we obtained uh, informed consent. Next was the interview. And lastly was the data analysis. So for the data analysis, the data from the participants will be gathered using Colite C, a descriptive phenomenological method. So first was familiarization. Next is identifying significant statements, then formulating the meaning, then clustering themes, and then develop, developing an exhaustive description, then producing fundamental structures, and then seeking verification. So for the results, for the results. For the results and discussions, table one, significant statements on thematic insight, emotional and psychological responses. Table two, effects of bullying to the learning experience. Table three, cynical occurrences. And for the conclusion and rec recommendation, the prominent type of bullying are verbal and social bullying. The false and falls either to the overt or covert category as, the, as experienced by the nursing students. Nursing students feel like they cannot attain their fullest potential in terms of their practical skills, learning experiences due to the fear of failing and being humiliated by the instructor or staff nurse. Compromise nursing care to, to the patient due to the lack of sup supervision or guidance from the instructor. Definite set of guidelines shall be followed by clinical instructors and staff nurses. Clinical exposure handbook shall then include the do's and don'ts of the student's clinical instructors and nursing staff alike. Lobby to the faculty of nursing. Utilization. The research method utilized was the key informant interview. The limitations of the current circumstances of COVID-19 has led for the researchers to utilize alternative means in gathering the data, in which the researchers sh shall be using social media platforms, such as messenger calls or Zoom calls, in order to virtually interview the participant. Thank you so much for that, Mr. David. Now we will be going back to the tables as, the, as to be further discussed by Mr. Carlo Miguel for the highlighted statements. So for table one, Emotional and psychological responses. Uh, so the category is verbal and social bullying. For the significant statements, technical. Um, 
it's sad in our part as students and somehow I feel angry of what the other person did. I'm bothered at the thought that of feeling both the desire and fear in learning. Next, for the table two, the effects of bullying to the learning experience. So for the significant statements, for the morals, this is what this is what breaks a relationship, especially in our field where coordination is important. It's really hard when there is an existence of bullying. And for the last table, cynical occurrences in the clinical area. For values, because sometimes bullies are bullying others because they themselves have problems that they face. And that's a wrap for the lived experiences of bullying among nursing students in the clinical area. Thank you so much for listening tonight. And we, again, we are the BSN3B Group 4A, bidding you a good day.